Well, here we are on Christmas Eve. I've just come out of my workshop and uh, seen this thing in the sky. It's a wonderful sight to behold, and although you can't see it, I think there's a trail of reindeer poo across the sky. Anyway, enough of looking at the moon. Let's pop inside and see a last minute modification that I've been able to make to one of my Christmas gifts. Well, we've made some last minute modifications to this sign. It looked a bit clunky with the uh, solar collector on top of a pole. So what I decided to do was to modify the design of this bracket, which is the fixing bracket for the top to the, to the stem, and include with it a mounting for this. And it does mean to say that I don't need a long cable anymore because the two pieces are joined closely together and I can just use something like this. Now I've left this apart at the moment so you can see um, just what I'm doing here. I've got a piece of silicon tube which I've been able to thread over the top of the piece of cable that they supplied and that produces a really nice watertight fit. And that same cable slips through this plastic cap again producing a nice watertight fit. So there's our, there's our end result now. How do these other pieces fit? Make sure we put this the right way because I want this to be behind the sign. So that means this piece is going to go this way, like that. And this piece goes on the other side, like that. And as we put those together on the post there, And you can see that this piece here has been, I've got a little tongue here and a slot through there. It's completely locked in place just by virtue of some slots. So I don't have to worry about fixing that on with glue or anything. We'll show you how that all comes together in a minute. This is the back. So I'll put this behind the sign. And there we go, that looks a little bit more elegant than the uh, black triangle I had there before. Right, so here's our little bracket sitting out the back here. And we've just got a little half lap joint piece to sit in there to make it into a cross. And on that cross, pointing in the right direction, we shall plug our solar collector. So here we've got just a suitably placed tie wrap which holds the cable in and from the front you won't even see the cable. I'm much more satisfied with that as an end product now because it means the cable is not exposed to the lawnmower or the hedge clipper um, because it's a fully integrated unit.